everybody, I'm Mrs. Q, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today, my silent co-host CJ and I thought we would do a review of a different type of bag. Um, as many of you know, I am a Dooney Nista. I think they are the bomb.com. However, I do have a second favorite bag. That bag is Brahmin. Their motto is re Redefining Timeless Style. Now, during this review of this bag, you're going to see some similarities to Dooney, and you're going to know why I like Brahmin bags. Um, there's not very many reviews on YouTube, so I thought I would put one up. Um, just give you a little history on Brahmin. They were created in 1982 by Bill and Joan Martin, and they are U.S.-made bags. Uh, some of the leathers might come from overseas, but for the most part, they're U.S.-made bags. Um, it takes 24 people to make one Brahmin handbag. Um, I think it's like about 100 steps. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember. However, they are made in the U.S., and the quality and style you will see is comparative to Dooney. So, without further ado, let's get started. First of all, all Brahmin bags come with this uh, felt um, type dust bag. I don't know. I'm going to hold it up to the camera. Not sure if y'all can see that or not, but it's so soft. Remember somebody else used to make these type of dust bags? All right. So, without further ado, I want to introduce you to my Brahmin Hudson Satchel from the Coco Melbourne Collection. Okay, um, the dimensions of this bag is 13 inches in width, 10 inches in height, and 6 inches in depth. Handle drop is 5 inches. All handbags, Brahmin handbags, come with the Brahmin um, logo hand tag, right there, hang tag, excuse me. And it also comes with the signature logo um, engraved hardware. Okay, um, you can't see it, but Brahmin is also right here along the um, sides of the hardware. Um, this bag comes with brass hardware. On the back, it has that nice deep slip pocket. As you can see, I can fit my whole hand in there. And I don't know if you can see that, but it is felt line with the Brahmin logo. Um, the, the handles are, um, double leather roll with stitching It's stitched in black. So you can't really see the stitching. Um, when I first got the bag, it was really stiff, but the more I carry it, the softer I get, you know, anybody else's bags to do that. Hmm. So this bag has a double zipper open and closure with leather pulls it does have a cocoa leather strap while i'm putting this on i will tell you um all brahmin bags are 100 percent leather okay just in case i forgot to tell you all right so there's your strap right here most of you that know me are that personally know me you know you see me carry this bag you know i carry it like this However, you do have the just for shoulder strap, and it is long enough you can wear it as a crossbody for those of you interested. Okay, um, the dimensions said that this bag weighs one pound and 15 ounces, um, excuse me, five ounces. However, this bag is really, really light. Okay, um, normally I keep it stuffed, but I recently changed bags, so um, anyway gonna take that out of there we'll talk about that in a few minutes the bag is felt line it has two um slide pockets right there with a loop for your pen now it does have a zip pocket right there but it's not that deep um that pocket was created for like say for instance you take your earrings off you can put them in that pocket so you'll know where to find it so for little bitty stuff that you need to keep track of in your bag um the back has a leather trim zip pocket that's pretty deep in there is usually where you will find 
your Brahmin registration card, and we'll get to that in the, um, later on toward the end of the video. Um, also has signature logo right there. Now, you find it has a Brahmin tag. I don't know if you can see that all the way back there in the corner where the tip of my finger is. Um, it has a leather key keeper, brass hardware to match the bag. Remember who used to do that? Hmm, they still do it. Been in business since 1982. Um, and this bag also has another favorite. Uh, feet. I love feet because they protect me. Um, overall, the quality of this bag is amazing. It is a very nice bag. Um, if you like the Croco style, um, you love Brahmin because a lot of their prints are Croco, but they do have actually prints. Um, I have not seen a cloth Brahmin bag, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. I just haven't seen one. Um, I'm going to try to get this up close to the camera so you can see. Um, that's the color in the middle and the outside. That's how it got its name, Coco. Okay. Now, moving on. My favorite wristlet is this wristlet right here. This is called the Debbie Key Clutch from the Coco Melbourne Collection. Um, I call these wristlet wallets, okay? Um, a lot of Dooney uh, wristlet wallets like this, you cannot take this strap off. Some people have resorted to cutting it off. Oh, Lord, I would never do that to a Dooney. Lord, rest in peace, wrist straps. But anyway, this one, you can detach it. So if you just want to keep it in your purse like this, that's a wallet, you can. However, if you like me, when I go to lunch at work, and I just want to take this, I have it on there for that, okay? Um, it has the gold signature embossed logo on the front. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it has a deep slip pocket in the back. That's um, And even the wallets come with a registration card, okay? Like I said, we'll talk about that toward the end of the video. Uh, snap closure. Um, this thing has a total of four slip pockets and six credit card slots, okay? This is where you put your ID, credit card slots right here, then one slip pocket, then you have where you can put two more cards right there and right there, then you have another pocket, zip closure right here, and that is leather, then you have another pocket right there. Then you have two more pockets under there. So this is why I love this wallet because I can actually fit all of my belongings in this wallet. I don't know if you can see that. I can fit all of my belongings in this wallet. Um, this is my favorite wallet. I love this wallet so much that I went and bought a black one so it can go with all my bags. So when I do my next review, um, you'll see my black wallet. But... Let me see if you can see. There's that cocoa. Who Lord. Quality, I tell you. Great quality. Now, each wallet and each bag come with registration cards, okay? It says that you're supposed to send your registration card in or register your bag within 30 days of keeping it. Me, I say as long as you have your receipt, you're okay. Now, this is the thing that I really love about these bags. On the back of here is your Brahmin guarantee. Let me read what this says. Mail in the attached card for a, this is your card, for a one year guarantee on your Brahmin. Or to register your bag for a two year guarantee Simply register at Brahmin.com. I register my bags at Brahmin.com to get the two-year warranty. Um, the other thing I like about these, you can also send them in for repairs if need be. Um, you can also send in for extra parts or whatnot. Um, they do have a leather conditioner that I plan on buying for specifically for my Brahmin bags. Currently, I own three Brahmin bags. Um, eventually I'll do a reviews on the other two, but this is by far my favorite Brahmin, um, because of the color cocoa. I love browns and blue is my favorite color. Um, where can you buy a Brahmin? Um, 
Brahmin has their own stores, just like Dooney. Um, they have outlets, outlet stores, but just like Dooney, you can't find them at every outlet that you go to. So if you want to find one, you go to Brahmin.com and you can locate their regular stores as well as their outlets. Um, Dillard's, number one retailer besides Brahmin, or should I say number one authorized retailer of Brahmin bags. They even have dealers exclusives on Brahmin bags, okay? Meaning there is some bags they create that you can specifically buy at dealers. Um, you can also find them at Nordstrom's, Macy's, uh, Zappos.com, eBay. Oh my God. Just about everywhere you can find a Dooney, you more than likely can find a Brahmin. Okay, these are some great bags. The quality, I mean, I, I, I can't say nothing bad about these bags. They're, they're really nice. They mostly come in crocodile styles. However, they do have some print. Um, to find out more information on the bag, you can go to um, Brahmin.com. Only thing I don't like about Brahmin is that they're seasonal. Very seasonal. And they're strict on their seasonal. Basically... Once the bag goes off the major website and you can no longer find it like on at Dillard's, Macy's, Nordstrom's or whatnot, basically the bag is gone. The, your only hope of getting the bag would be to go on someplace like eBay, Posh, you know, something like that. Um, Poshmark, just found out about that Poshmark. But otherwise, welcome to my Brahmin world. They are my second favorite bag. Um, I hope you have enjoyed um, my review of the Hudson Satchel and the Debbie Key Clutch. Um, basically, Brahmins, you could tell they have the same style bags, but you could tell the color by the collection. So, you'll see this style bag again, but in a different color. You know, just like Dooney. So, hopefully... You enjoyed my review, and like I said, later on down the line, I'll do a review of my other two bags. Otherwise, love you. Bye-bye.